Hello everybody and welcome to this new video of detail painting with Krita. In this case I'm going to talk about the impressionism style. Recently we have reached 30,000 subscribers and this is a big number for this channel. So I was thinking about how to celebrate it. I decided to create a vandal for the people who want to enjoy the painting and just having fun painting with these brushes. And I was thinking about also in Impressionism because I love that style. I think it's a very good idea to explore this more deeply. So are you ready? Because here we go. Okay, let's go to explain just how to load the bundle because uh, I see there are users that don't know how to load the resources in Krita. So for that reason, I'm going to show you in real time how I do it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have downloaded the impression bundle here. So if I go to Krita and go to the settings minus resources, you can see this window. So if I go to the import bundles, I can go directly to the file and click on accept and it's loaded. Done. Already done. So if I may click here, I can see a bit of text, what kind of uh, brass presets includes. Brush tip that I use for, for the brushes is included by default. So imagine one brush tip eight brushes to create really fast impressionism so you can see uh, what are the contents included in the bundle okay so click on accept i create a new file based on the custom document create and you can see all my brushes available here right and if i go down i see these impressionism brushes and if i just over the mouse or the stylus in, in this brush, I see it has the tag impression, okay? But what happens? I look for the impression tag here and there is nothing. That's because we have to restart Krita. Krita needs to load the resources, so it needs to be restarted. And now if I make a new document, I can see I can isolate the impression bundle really easy and now I can test the brushes but look at that there is no gray no texture in in the page so how can we do it just stay with me okay so if we need a good surface for our traditional painting we need uh, like a canvas or paper so I released a video in the in the Krita channel talking about this and if I go to this video I can go to the download here and make right click to save the link as and I click on save and it's telling me that it's not safe but uh, this is only happening in Chrome I think Firefox works uh, better if I remember well so I ignore completely because it's my own file. So there is no problem. I save and now I see that is saving, is the loading and I can extract here the smart canvases and I get something like this, okay? Let me just uh, open this the template for oil 01 and i'm going to drag click on open as a new document and it's computing all the things that has available here because this file is ready to be used as a good surface i'm going to hide be the, the layers you can uh, watch the, the another video to to understand its layer what can achieve in if you uh, adjust the parameters and this kind of things now i'm going to convert this file and i can i can convert any file that i have created in a template and that is a very good thing so if i go to my file create template from image 
you can see how this panel is, is open and I can select a name. For example, I'm going to save this template just like canvas impression and I can save in my traditional texture templates, testing or whatever, or I can even create my own group like impression and I click and accept. I could use an image to, to save with, with this template. Okay. But I'm going to use the preview canvas impression in impression. Okay. So I accept and now I close my document and I can go to my file new and go to my impression and I see my canvas impression. And this is the way how you convert your files into templates. Okay. Do you like the tricks? Because now I'm going to show you one of the most exciting tricks that I discovered time ago. If I go to the red color, I can just uh, control to pick the color or the yellow, maybe this yellow, this blue, and I can recover the yellow. So I'm color picking very useful. Okay. But if I go to the color picker options right here, I can see the blending options. Okay. So I can reduce it to the 10%. And then now when I color pick the red is only loading a bit. Okay. So I have to insist as I'm holding the control key to load the color, the entire color. Okay. Now I need yellow and I insist and I can just mix in also with the blue. Okay. And I get green and that is fantastic because I can just play with colors a lot as I do in my palette. Okay. If I need the blue, I get something like this and you can see the behavior inside the color wheel. So I hope you like it because I think this is very, very powerful to create impressionism effect in artworks. The good thing about this is that I can just go to the color wheel and select the color I want and it loads at hundred percent. But if I go to a color in canvas, I can load the color, but in a percentage controlled by the color picker options in the blend option here. How cool is that? Okay. Now I'm going to show you what these brushes are capable of. So the first thing you can notice is the, the brush is called impressionism accurate. And what that means accurate uh, for me, it's really important that if I choose a red orange color, it just create random color, but not as much that I can see a different color. In the previous release, we have already impressionism brush and it's good because you can create a uh, more color randomness, more hue randomness, but it's a bit offset. So when I select, for example, the orange, I don't get the, the, the same color. So I create these brushes to be more static in, in the randomness. Okay. But as we will cover in a minute, you can change the color dynamics really fast. So no problem with that. As you can see, as I am painting with these brushes, uh, for example, this one, I have different tones of a red, orange, it's not only one single color and that makes easier to produce the impressionism effect. But what if I want to change that behavior? If I want the deactivated, for example, just go to the brush editor and deactivate here in the color section, the hue and the value. And you can see right now I am only using the selected color. <laughs> now you can see how plain is this. But what if I want to modify the color dynamics? 
So if I go here to the hue, I can just uh, modify the, the range the, uh, in degrees that I can affect in, in the brush stroke. Okay, so maybe 64 degrees. I usually play with strain lines because I want the same variation to the left that to the right, okay? So now I get uh, a color like this, but you can see it's more obvious with lighter colors, okay? But it's an interesting way to add more colors in your brushstroke. And if you want to apply this to another parameter here, like value, you can use this controlled by Fusy DAF. So each DAF is colored in a different way. And now you have more contrast, okay? If I want to be really crazy, I use something like this. But sometimes it's really useful because adds chromacity or adds impacts of color in your painting. I come back to the impressionism and then I see brush, which is a bit different because it has another size. It's a bit uh, bigger because I think the, the brush tape is so beautiful that you need uh, to watch it in, in a bigger size to notice uh, the difference. To use the this brush, it's uh, to create uh, just like details, but with different random shapes, okay? This, this shape is not like this shape or this shape. So you can play a lot with this to add details. It uses a masked brass feature, so you can control also how you mask the, the brush or which is the size you, you want to use for the masking, okay? And now I go to this brush. If I make a slower brush stroke, I can see the difference because I'm using this airbrush feature and this is good if I want to make uh, straight lines corners or I want to shape a bit the, the things that I am painting. So if you want to have um, more crazy behavior, you can use this. And as you can see, this is more not so rigid. Okay, so you can combine them together. Okay, I also use this, this brush when I want to add um, a bit of grain of, of canvas. Imagine I want to add a bit of dirtiness like this, or I want to add a bit of uh, hue difference. So I can use whatever color and just spread a bit with low, very low pressure to keep the, the painting not so saturated by just a brush stroke like this, okay? So if you wanna paint, with with these brushes and these are the dry brushes these are the wet brushes and these are the blenders yeah blenders are really important because if i press softly i can blend very fast very fast and giving some impacts of uh just like moving the color so sometimes it's useful sometimes not because you are using the happy accidents techniques of Bob Ross here, <laughs> okay? Now let me show you another trick. If I use this brush, for example, you can see the brush tip, it's uh, really visible, and I like this shape, but what if I want to change it? I can go here and just change for that shape, and I get totally new brush with different effects. And I can even achieve the pointillism effect if just I change this brush tape and use it like this. Really easy, really fast. So I hope you like it. Now I'm gonna paint something right here to show you how to use these brushes, these wet brushes. And uh, Maybe I want to create um, just a tree. So I use a color or use this color, avocado or military green or um, there are a lot of different greens in the default set uh, this is modified by me
but I usually use this palette, which is the default, and it has very similar colors, okay? So now you can see how this is behaving when I am creating just only a single tree, maybe too big, uh, but you get the, the idea. And as impressionism, use a lot of blue in the shadows and the purple in the shadows, not too much black. You can control the shadow in, in this style. Okay, and if I need to blend this, I could use the, the blender and I get something something like this. This is a simple, simple tree. And you maybe think uh, why there are uh, two similar brushes. The wet brush is the something like this. And if I press hard, I get something like this. And there is just a very important difference because if I use this and I want to make an accent of color, I get something like this. And if I use this with low pressure, I get not so much impact, okay? I get the grain effect, the canvas effect, but for little touches, it's not so powerful as this. They can create just small impacts of, of color, right? And that's the reason why we have two wet impressionism brushes. And remember, you can have, for example, this blender brush, and if you want to have the texture, you can go to the pattern and activate here the feature, the pattern, and look the texture you want. Uh, for default, is using this, the second one, the rough canvas, so no problem with that. And now I'm using the blender with the pattern feature. I think that covers uh, what we can do with these brushes in a very fast way without worrying too much about, about detail and more focused on enjoy the painting and enjoy the experience of painting with Krita. But hey, what is the demo? Well, I'm going to publish a new video with the painting that I did for the Forsem event 2021. I recorded in full HD so you can enjoy each brushstroke. And that's all for now. Happy painting and if you want to stay tuned, activate the notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye.